What's up everybody, this is Russell and I am in Fiji. I'm at the Namali Resort and uh, this is actually the second time I've been here. 10 years ago I came with my wife and my kids and, uh, and now we're back a decade later. Welcome. How are you doing? Amazing. Oh, our pleasure, our pleasure. We want to see around the property, you got some time? Yeah, yeah. absolutely. We, we have 19 different units, uh, and those 19 units are divided into six different categories. Okay, so you come on in. Got a pool table, little kitchen. Fiji makes me so happy. It makes me so happy here. <laughs> so a little sitting room, I have the kids sleeping on this couch. And then the bed, look how cute, okay. Mosquito net for night, <laughs> and a cute little heart with some treasures. Then the bathroom, all oh, made out of stone, stone cover. So this actually was Tony's first house um, before they built the one that he has now. So this is kind of the back down here. Takes us to our private beach. Right there is our private pool. Oh, it's warm. Is it really? It's warm. <laughs> oh man. So exciting. I love this place yeah. so much. It's a 10,000 square foot spa with only four treatment rooms. He dedicates a third of the spa to, with that hydrotherapy room. He really wants his guests to have the same experience as his family and his friends that he brings out here. This is incredible. <laughs> What's happening? Oh my gosh, so we're getting a moonlight massage in a Fijian storm. And look how cute our tables, they have our names on our tables. Uh, the Bachelorette was actually here. I remember watching Ashley's season. It shows them pulling up to Namali. We see the gates, and my wife and I start freaking out. Right, like, that's Namali. We've been there before. <laughs> like, and so um, now that we're back, I'm excited to actually see where some of the cool parts happen from from the Bachelor show. Well, this this here, uh, we now call it the cave. Uh, this this developed out of uh, the location team that was here. They needed some locations to have some romantic dining, and they looked here and they chose this. This this is where you've spent hours and hours every day working out, I right? Like the way I do. <laughs> this is this is the fitness center. It's open 24 hours. It's actually a hand-me-down gym. It's Tony stuff when he buys new stuff. The the equipment is beyond what you'd expect in most hotel gyms. Not only is this Fiji's only bowling alley, I think it's the only place in the world you can bowl in sandals. Other resorts which are, are built to be very nice, but they're built to be businesses. What we, we do the same thing. So we, we use Tony's business principles to run the resort. However, Namali didn't start out as a resort. It started out as a personal retreat for himself and his family, and uh, he was using it as kind of a, a think tank, a place to, to come and you know, immerse himself in his writing. Uh, Namali, this side of, uh, on the ocean side, we have 250 acres, and we have 19 units. Every unit has privacy. That's really important to Tony. Of course, wants it to run efficiently. Of course, want, would love for, you know, wants it to make money, but that's not the most important thing. The most important thing is the experience that we're delivering to the guests. And then we got to figure out how to do it in a profitable way. 